was it like getting, getting a chance to go out there against guys from all around the state? Oh, it was great. Feel great getting back out here. Just having fun with the guys. This is like my first t uh, real 707 because I've been having a whole bunch of visits, so it was nice. Guys show you a lot of respect and don't throw your way, do you? Yeah, some do. Yeah. How, do you, how, do you, how do you stay locked in? Well, I try to bait them for real. I try to throw them off, throw the quarterbacks off, but just knowing that if they catch a pass, I'm not doing my job, so I just try to do my job as much as I can. Talk about throwing off. Uh, people want to talk about your recruitment. You were you were decked out in a lot of Michigan gear today. Mm, yeah. I mean, you know, we know Ohio State, Michigan, Oregon are all there. You got your decision coming up. Mm -hmm. I mean, you talk about shocking the world. I mean, mm -hmm. how how do you, how do you go about all of that with everybody criticizing and, and critiquing every little thing you do, everything yeah. you wear? I try. I do my own thing. I try to listen to the outsiders. I just focus on what I got going. I know I know what I need going to college. So I really don't pay too much attention to the outsiders. Coming off of your official from Ohio State, I mean, you, it was a fact-finding mission. Did they did they satisfy the questions that you had? Yeah, for sure. They definitely uh, all the questions I had, they got answered. So since you've set a date, have you actually? Do you feel like you have made a decision, or are you still? Nah, not yet. I feel like I'm still still going through. I feel like soon. I need to figure out soon, sooner <laughs> or later. But now nah, I haven't figured it out yet. But I know I'm gonna know before that day, though. How do you go through it? I mean, are you just bouncing things off your parents? Your yeah, friends? really. Like yeah, talking to like. Just people up there, really like just letting, it, just letting the time go by and trying to wait, wait until I know what's right. You just think you're going to like wake up in bed one day? Yeah, I hope so. I've been waiting for it. Yeah, I've been praying on it. Has this decision been harder than you thought it would be? when it Yeah, for sure. Definitely. I feel like it got hurt. That's why I'm ready to get over with. I feel like I don't got to worry about it no more. People talk about the decision day being your dad's birthday. Mm -hmm. I mean, what does it mean being able to, to do that on, on your dad's birthday? Oh, uh, it's great. It's just like, it just makes sense. Like, why not? Because his birthday the 30th. So I'm like, my house, two, two celebrations in one day. Just to kind of, you know, maybe the last chance I get to talk to you prior to your announcement, what is it about Ohio State that really resonates? I say just being from Ohio and just seeing what they've been doing this past year, they fight they compete for a natty every year. That's what I'm looking for. And what about Michigan? Same thing, fight their defensive scheme, cuss clean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but just doing this being far, not far, I mean, uh, making it far in the uh, college playoffs and just both them two being, them two teams making it far and being able to play for a natty, so I'm looking for it. And then Oregon, who seems to be kind of the wild card, mm -hmm. the, you know, the, the wild duck. I mean, what is it about the ducks? Yeah, I grew up watching them. I used to stay up late with my friends, watching them. I feel like you know, my relationship with Coach Me is heavy. He's been like, I probably say he's been recruiting me the hardest, talk to me every day, trying to get me away from home. How much have, uh, Guys like the Armstrong Twins and, you know, Bryce West and guys like that been in your ear about Ohio State. Every day, every, especially every time somebody commit, they all text me. I be topping up with players from Michigan and Ohio State all the time, though. They all be recruiting me every day. Is that just kind of, is it, is it flattering? Is it confusing even more? Or how I say confused. I try to listen to them, though, because <laughs> everything they say make it sound good. Sure, but sure. I try not to, if you might tell them, you feel me, yeah, I hear y'all. But yeah, I try not to really pay too much attention to it. What's ultimately going to put that school on top when you come to that, you have that epiphany, you have that decision that, that morning when you wake up? I feel like just knowing that, like, they're going to let everything they're saying is real, and they did not just tell me what I want to hear. And, like, when I get there, it's all going to be the same. Everything they told me is going to be real from the start.